small crawling and flying animals. In the first video, Jesse and Squeaks introduced insects to you. Jesse taught you how to recognize an insect as all insects have three things in common. They have no bones, we call these animals invertebrates, their body has three parts, and they have six legs. Another interesting thing about insects is that they have no lungs. Instead, they breathe using tiny holes along the sides of its abdomen, called spiracles. These spiracles carry the air through tiny tubes to the insect's blood. Most insects go through four stages of growth during their lives. They start as an egg, then they become a larva, then a pupa, and finally they're an adult. For some insects, the pupa state has a special name, like chrysalis for a butterfly or cocoon for a moth. There are many other physical characteristics that an insect can have. For example, antennae. These are also known as feelers, but can do a lot more than that. Some insects have more than two wings. Some have a stinger, and some have powerful jaws called mandibles. We will be learning about various creepy crawly animals, and each one will have traits that help us tell what kind of insect they are. Insects might seem scary or disgusting, but they are also very helpful. The bees help pollinate fruit trees and flowers. Without them, there would be no fruit and only few flowers. The ladybug eats insects that harm fruit trees like grapefruit, orange, and lemon trees. And the grasshopper kills many insects that damage crops. It is one of the farmer's best helper. And flies. These can be very annoying insects, but they do have an important job. They recycle animal poop. Yep, you heard that right. Without them, the world would be a much smellier place. God created each animal for a reason, and we get to learn about a few of them in grade two. Today, we learned how to recognize an insect. All insects have three things in common. We also learned that there are various physical characteristics that an insect can have. And finally, we learned that insects can be very helpful little creatures.